Push and welcome back to my media wiki tutorial series and this is going to be the part one and in this video we are going to learn how we can install media wiki using docker so uh, before moving uh, into the tutorial I would highly recommend that you guys know about docker and its concepts and it would be really grateful that if you know about docker compose so that you can understand uh, the installation process uh, much better so if you don't know about uh, this uh, very basic concept of docker i would recommend to go and learn up first about this and then you can carry from follow from here so in this tutorial we're going to see what are the required docker images that we are going to use and uh, i'll just quickly walk you through uh, the docker compose file that i have made and we'll see how we are mounting the volumes and we'll also attach php my admin so that we'll see what other database tables that uh, media wiki creates while installation right uh, we'll also learn about uh, some basics of local settings.php and uh, we'll see how we are going to reattach some of the volumes right so let's just jump over to the code section right from here so this is my docker compose yaml and uh, here i'm using uh, version 3 and uh, here are some of the services that i have defined so the very first service is going to be the media wiki and in this service i'm going to use uh, an image called uh, media wiki so if you go to docker hub uh, right over here and if we search about media wiki you'll see this is the official image by media wiki and here we can see the latest supported tags are 1.39 1.39.2 and uh, so on so basically uh, we are going to use in this video we are going to use this version called 1.38 and we are defining a network of uh, let, uh, let's say this is docker network so we are going to keep this network same across all the images and uh, we are in the port section we are just mapping the outside uh, port of port 8080 with the inside port 80 so this media wiki image is going to be exposed internally on port 80 and we are going to expose it uh, externally uh, on on the port 8080 so that we can access this uh, service right so here we are just defining volumes this is the volume I have uh, defined currently uh, I have uh, commented this because initially we don't need this file once we have installed this file so basically what it does is uh, at the very first time of installation of media wiki it generates a file called local settings.php which contains some of very basic settings like your database connections your uh, site name etc we are going to say about that so currently we don't need it initially once we are done with the installation media wiki is going to provide this file then we are once we are done with uh, once we get this file called local settings.php we are going to mount this so uh, we are going to stop our containers uncomment this line and then we are going to run it but for the first time we are not going to run this so uh, after this we have another service called database so in this we are going to use mysql database and again we have specified the network as docker network and here are the some of the environment that I'm using uh, this uh, MySQL database that I'm going to use as wikidb and uh, the root password is going to be root this is the user MySQL user and MySQL password right so um, so uh, I'm also using one another image of PHP my admin why I'm using this so that I can see what are the database tables that media wiki is going to make uh, and uh, I'll, we'll just see like how it's going to manage its what other tables are there while installation of media wiki right 
so it depends upon this service called database so once this is done it is going to be run and this is the image php my admin restart always and uh, again uh, this php my admin runs on the port uh, internally on uh, 80 and uh, i'm going to uh, expose this uh, php my admin image uh, uh, the service on the port 8000 of my local host right uh, so for this image we are going to pass some environment variables like uh, what is the name of the host so we are going to use database as we are using this network and what is the root password and the upload limits again the networks and we are using uh, the driver bridge for this uh, network right so let's just save it and run this docker compose up must be a list okay uh services must be a list i guess what i've missed uh, i have i missed something volumes must be a list so currently what we are going to do is let us not define the volumes as also docker compose up it is just going to create some services it's just running okay so let's head back to our chrome let's go to localhost 8080 and yes here we can see a uh, media wiki uh, 1.38 and it says local settings.php not found so we can also see that we haven't really uh, mounted this volume reason being we don't have this file uh, as of now so where we are going to get this local settings.php so uh, after the initial installation uh, it says set up this wiki once we are going to follow this uh, there are a set of steps where we are going to follow once we are done with that those steps we are going to get this file and after getting this file uh, we are going to stop our containers uh, and after stopping the containers we are going to uncomment these files and then uh, we are going to run the containers again right so let's quickly set up go and set up this wiki continue need a wiki installation continue uh, the local host is here is going to be database as we have specified that this is going to be used as it depends on the service called database right we are going to use database right over here and uh, this asks for a database name so we can see that uh, under mysql service we have provided a name called wikidb we are going to copy this name and we are going to use this name as database name right uh, we are going to not use any table prefix so we are going to keep it blank uh, database username is root and again the password is going to be root as we can see we have specified this uh, as mysql root password as root after this we are going to click on continue continue name of the wiki so let's say my wiki your username admin set up this password click on continue oh let's go back let's go back let's go back it says ask me more questions i'm going to click i'm bored already just install this wiki continue continue and uh, setting up database done 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 everything is done and here we go we have got our local settings.php file over here uh, we are going to directly move this file to our folder and right over here let's delete this file that we had earlier local settings.php right so we have this file and let's go back enter your wiki it says media wiki it still says local settings.php not found because we have to restart our containers again so that the file can be mounted right 
so let's stop our containers stopping it let's just check if we have uncommented our volumes okay so we have uncommented the volumes we are what how we are going to mount it local settings.php which is in the current folder we are going to mount it uh, on this folder which is var www.html and under the html we are directly going to mount this file save it and again we are going to talk, uh, use this docker compose up and let's just restart this oh and there you go we have our media wiki installations ready so if we see over here let's uh, quickly walk through the contents of local settings.php right uh, so it's just checking media wiki is installed or not and this is the site name my wiki we are using that we have provided initially this is the server this is the wg server path local host 8080 and it this becomes the base url basically right and these are the logos uh, currently it is not finding any let's just uncomment these and uh, these are the basic settings like th these are the database settings db type mysql what is the db server database and it basically this local settings.php contains all the necessary information that your wiki requires like the database the logos the site name the base url and every kind of stuffs right uh, it has uh, your time zone as well if you want to have a different time zone you can specify it what languages uh, is going to be supported by your what is the default language currently it is set to be english you can you can just uh, play with these settings and uh, at the bottom you can see there are some uh, skins skins are basically themes uh, that supports so um, these are the the current default theme is vector so you can change it to any uh, of the current themes uh, skins over here let's just save it okay so this is so these were the basic settings of local settings dot php and we have our basic uh, media wiki installations ready uh, let's check out the version go to the special pages and there we can see a special page called version and under this if you'll see that we have got the media wiki 1.38 we have got the php version of 8 mysql is 8.0.29 so yes so this was the basic installation of media wiki thank you guys thanks for watching bye bye